Hey guys, so today I will be doing a video which covers about nucleic acids. I will be doing a brief summary for nucleic acids and when the summary is done, I will start my new tutorials on nucleic acid. For this summary, I will have expected you to finish the lecture or finish the module. Basically, you have covered nucleic acids in school and you just want to revise nucleic acids. So this lecture is meant for this kind of book. So first one. What are the complementary bases of nucleic acid? So you know that you have five bases. Let's name it: adenine, thymine, cytosine, guanine, and uracil. All this must be in your head already. So let's pair it up. So we know it's A T C G. C looks like G, right? So C is always with G, and A is always with T. So adenine. So in DNA, adenine is with thymine, cytosine is it? It's with guanine. So that's a complementary base. Adenine, thymine, guanine, cytosine, A, T, C, G is always in that configuration. In, in RNA, there is no thymine present. So in RNA, it's replaced by this base called uracil. So adenine is bonded to uracil and cytosine is still bonded to guanine. So this C and G, they're always together. So in DNA and RNA, the difference is basically adenine and what? In DNA, it's adenine and thymine. In RNA, adenine and, adenine and uracil. Alright, so next question is the components to make a nucleotide unit so like to make a new nu nucleotide, nucleotide unit what are the components simple phosphate sugar and base what does dna stand for dna deoxyribonucleic acid rna ribonucleic acid deoxyribonucleic acid ribonucleic acid what's the difference in dna it's deoxy there's this deoxy but what does deoxy means deoxy means there is no oxygen so in dna when you look at uh, when you look at the sugar, the saccharide in the DNA strand, you will see that in one of the carbon, there's no oxygen present. It's just a H. But in RNA, there is oxygen, so it becomes hydroxy. So that is the difference between DNA and RNA. Now, the third question is the biological functions of nucleic acid. So adenine is a base. It is used for energy transfer, and this adenine base is used in this um, energy molecule, uh, energy currency molecule called adenosine triphosphate. Adenine and adenosine. Alright. Um, adenine and guanine are, are also used as cofactors in enzymes. So, adenine and guanine, both of these are uh, the, uh, bases for nucleic acids, and they are used as cofactors in some enzymes. That are the biological functions of nucleic acids. This is the industrial applications of nucleic acid. So the first one is polymerase chain reaction, PCR, where we amplify strands of DNA. Number two is sequencing. We sequence the DNA. So for example, we find a DNA, we want to know whose DNA it belongs to, we sequence the bases. Number three is molecular cloning, which is which has a lot of ethical issues, but that is also one of the industrial applications of nucleic acid, where we get the info from one part of the DNA and then they put it to another place. I'm pretty sure you guys have like watched CSI before. So for example, I, I'm i like a crime scene investigator and I go to a crime scene. I have a um, hair sample. For example, I have a DNA sample. So first step when I get into the lab, what do I do? I do PCR, I do polymerase chain reaction to amplify the strands of DNA to make it more. Hi, uh, how do I do this? Well, I'll cover it in my other chapters, but I will add primers and I will and enzymes and everything so we use the enzyme called um okay. we use the enzyme called tech polymerase which is found in hydrothermal bands so it's really expensive but it's really a very cool process where dna strands are multiply exponentially so it's really very good i have a lot of dna strands so what am i going to do with it i'm going to sequence the dna so i will take it to my lab i will take it to the machine and i will sequence the dna in time in time in time in time in time in Kind of thing, and based on I can refer the sequence to another source, a database, for example, to, to identify whose DNA is that. So that's how you that's that's the basic way of start, start, um, identifying a person to their DNA. All right, so that are the nucleic acids thing. I want you guys to write the complementary sequence right here is your question so i want you to write down in the comment below what is the complementary sequence starting from five prime always write the complementary sequence from five prime no you must get it after and i'm saying the comments below and i will cover it in the next video okay so i guess that's all we that i have for nucleic acid so let's do a little review what you have to know firstly you have to know that there are five bases for nucleic acids 
adenine, thymine, guanine, cytosine, uracil, adenine to thymine in DNA, adenine to uracil in RNA, and cytosine is always with guanine. Cytosine, cytosine and guanine, these complementary pairs, they are more stable than the AT and AU complementary bases because they have 3 hydrogen bonds as compared to the other bases, I mean other pairs, which has only 2 hydrogen bonds, so it makes them more stable. And the industrial uses of nucleic acids is polymerase chain reaction, where we amplify strands of DNA. Number 2 is DNA sequencing, where we sequence the DNA bases. And number 3 is molecular cloning. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. I, I hope it helped you, and I'll see you soon.